serve you. You took it from me. I should have really listened to your poems. I was too distracted watching you. Like, wow, this is a very beautiful woman standing in front of me. I can't remember if the latter was actually voiced. Probably my mind filling in the gaps of a known mental gymnastics version of word search. Bonus points if you find self-worth spelt backwards, hiding unseen, unfelt, in the most inconspicuous column right in front of you. No, I don't mean any of the synonyms for being taken for a mug or thinking your lover is playing sweet, sweet romantic music to celebrate your union, only to realize the only instrument being played is you. The kiki ki is happening at your expense. No, she is not kiki ki with you and never has, because as much as you try to call her a version of your past self or try to make it out that she is on a journey of self-love and discovery, there is no running away from the fact that she is trash. Like, actual trash. As in the American sense. As in the actual rubbish individually. As in the actual rubbish collectively. As in a beanbag or multiple beanbags. As in the actual bin. As in, okay, you get the gist. As in actual ito di yong mundu. As in, worse than Iskoro Bosepao. And we can't forget she behaved in a predatory manner. And in all honesty, I'll admit, I want to sound very grown up, like, I've moved on from this. And knowing you was only a blip. And I can be like Taylor, Taylor Swift but a spoken word version. <laughs> Maybe like, have this poem be like the next, thank you, next. <laughs> and show you that I am living my best life, being single, because, yes. Interacting with you showed me I am Team Ibizo to the core. I am my most loyal fan. Yes, I know I deserve better. Yes, I am aware I am beautiful. Yes, I am too good for you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is why the conversation where with your whole chest you said those lines was the last we ever had and the last we ever will. Thank you.